There they are. Okay. Here's the eight faces of the moon. Okay, now. My, I'm going to take, um, I can either take the one I'm in right now. Yeah, I could, I could take the new moon, but the, 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 I'll just take the one I'm in right now, which would be 2018, from 2018 to 2022. Okay, this is my moon face. So that's going to be, it's after the conjunction, it's not in the new moon phase, it's in the waxing crescent. See, I changed names. It took me a long time. I had we had traditional names for the moon phases, but I, they really didn't express it well. So I wanted to have the names so that if it was waxing, we called it waxing. If it was waning, it called waning. So what used to be called the full moon phase, I call it the waxing gibbous phase because it's waxing up to the full moon. And then there's a waning full moon. A full moon can only wane. And the same with the new moon. There's a waning crescent, and there's the waxing new moon. Then the waxing crescent. This is the waxing crescent after the waxing new moon. It's the waxing crescent from 218 to 2022. Okay, so this is where I am now. Let's just so this gives the phases. And now, if you had the charts in the classes, you wouldn't have the ones with all the people. This is in the forum, the student forum, the list of all the people who have those that moon phase in, in their natal chart. Back too far. Eight phases. Waxing new moon phase. Here we go. Waxing crescent moon phase. Phase begins at the crescent moon, ends at the half half moon as the half moon arises. Moon light increases as is the need to do your own thing. There's still much darkness surrounding this rising light, but the sheer fact of our presence and growing brightness sheds much hope. There's a struggle here to replace old ideas with new ones. You are consistently you are consistently being challenged to reach out beyond your present achievements. You need to prepare yourself for more growth and advancement, not less. It is important that you rely on yourself more than on others around you. You must continue to strive towards your own goals to, to avoid dissipating your energy by going out in too many directions. To your own self, be true. You are capable of genuine clarity, and you must be prepared to work hard to maintain it. When problems arise, you must avoid taking the easy way out. If you want something done, do it yourself. Do not become dependent on others, others, especially family members. You are struggling to break out of the mold. You are striving to be more free. That's the daylight increasing. When you when you find that you are holding on to the past, realize that you are diminishing yourself. Let go. Don't hold on. You must struggle to find your own direction and life purpose. Family concerns might try to hold you or back or impede your independence. When this happens, take care of the things that must be dealt with and get back to your own path as soon as possible. You must develop autonomy even though, even if you're not encouraged to do so. You'll be continually challenged to adjust your lifestyle. To strengthen yourself, you could improve your daily routine, get rid of bad habits, strive to eat well, sleep eight hours, get a regular exercise. A healthy foundation will give you much more buoyancy and resistance to inertia. You'll be better able to advance on your path. It's important for you to believe in yourself and to hold onto your own dreams. You can easily be you can be easily hurt or let down by others. Do not count points. Revenge is hollow. You must hold true to your own vision and strive to actualize it. Protect your clarity and your innocence as much as possible. Try to get away from bad or lazy influences. You tend to lack discrimination and could get caught in complicated self-diminishing situations. Align yourself with reliable, worthy people. Do not run from challenges. So that's my theme right now. Then the list of all the people that have it. And um, but this is this is your we've used this in the natal chart. But as a theme for what's going on for my two and a half years, this is great. You know, I'm complete. I'm having to complete the webinar series. I had to hold on and keep doing that. And that took a lot of time. I had to let go of other commitments and other involvements. And I have to finish this and then I can get on to other things. So this is how it works. This is kind of a guideline. And then you can see the specific things and mechanics of the progressed moon going around to the houses, to the signs, crossing the angles. You can see that in, inside, of this, inside of these. And as the phases change, it adds another light to it. Okay, so I'm not going to um, 
keep going back to the moon phases. I, I want to go on here. I want to show you how to, oh yeah, there's one last thing. <laughs> We're not going to get into it. I'm just going to show you because we just, that's the motor mechanics. If you want to go intuitively, deeply into any moment, so you're in a really lost moment or you're puzzled in a moment, you can do your progress chart for that moment. And then you're getting down to the minutes of the degrees and you're seeing the degree symbols. Of course, you have the pentens, the sub pentens. You have a hexagon, the sign, the pentan, and the sub pentan to give you three different levels of interpretation to be sensitive to how that moon could be working. And then you have the three hexagrams, the main hex, the main theme hexagram, the, spe the special focus hexagram, and the intimate detail hexagram, like the hexagram and the sub hexagram. So you can go down and get the hexagrams. That, and on the, this printer, I did three printouts to show you what the program, the RASA program does. This program is not available yet. It's, it was done in the 90s, it's an old program, and there's little idiosyncrasies and glitches that need to be fixed. So it needs to be put together as a new app. And when it is, your students and you'll be able to, this will become available. And the ability to do this, get this information and draw the color charts. And hopefully most of the routines we need to do in our classes will be in this program. That's next year, we start working towards that. So this, this, is, this is if I printed out the moon phase one degree at a time, going one degree around the chart, then it puts the aspects this close to each other and you can see the main aspects and mark them in. And this was done for just the two years I spent alone in the in the in the cave in India. So and these were the challenges I went through as they went through it. So the, now the next one I did it for 10 minutes. That's done for one one degree intervals. This next one is done for 10 minutes of a degree interval. And the 10 minutes of a degree, the one degree interval only gave you the well, it gave you the three hexagrams if you had a specific aspect, but this one gives you the hexagram, the one degree, and the line that it represents. And it gives you the hexagram for that one degree, and the line for that 10 minutes of that li Each line of the hexagram will be 10 minutes of the degree. So it'll give you the 10 minutes for that second, the second line, second level line, and on the intimate detail, it gives you the, which hexagram it is. It doesn't tell you the lines because they go from either from one to six or six to one, but it's, if it see, see it says line six at the top, but it means that hexagram will start going six, five, four, three, two, one. Because this line one, it'll go from one, two, three, four, five, six with lines. But this is the, um, this gives you, this will give you the pretty much the detail right down to the inner hexagram. And you can study this and it becomes much more profound. Any one of these, you can spend a couple hours on any one of these moments. Then this is the third, third program where I did it for one minute and 40 seconds of a degree watching the progress move from one minute to 40 second degree it means that on the smallest level it's when each line changes and that one minute and 40 seconds of a degree is 17 turns out to be 17 hours of time just a little a le little less than a day and, he, and it gives you this ephemeral 17 hours a day the times at this point are really questionable because these this one minute and 40 seconds of the moon you're dealing with like really small portions of time. Like how accurately have you written down your time when you were born? Like if not, so, this probably will hold reasonably well. When you get to the angles, it'll be more chart. But these are the three other charts which you have. And I think you have the large one, the most intimate one. I think I sent you that or the one before that, but you have one of these where you can go in and you have the access to these deeper meanings where tremendous philosophy and insights can come out of it. So right now, I want to go pull out one star and show you how to do these calculations. I'll take a second here. Okay, here we go. Our one star here. And okay, yeah, there we go. Now I'm just going to get this back to my chart. Okay. Okay, here's my chart. So we're going to go into the search section. And with the search, you can hit any of these. It takes you into, it brings up the search program. There we go. Whoops. Okay, now I'm going to bring the search program over to the right-hand side so we won't see the chart but we'll have the search engine to work with the search engine to work with so it has my you just got to check the time it has my my name it has the city i was born in you got to make sure it's got the city you're born in 
And because if you did someone else's chart, sometimes it'll stay that way. So you have to double check it when you come into here. And this has today's date, but I want to turn this date back to my birth date. So I've got to go here. If you click on the year, you get this thing and you can click on the arrows. Till it goes back, 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 19. It moves really fast. So 49, 50, 54, 50, 46 in September here. If I click these arrows, it'll go backwards and forwards. So now it goes to October 46 when I was born. Click on the 17. So I've got it set the the search is to set starting from my birth date, my birth. Since we're using progressions, we want to see these for our life for a lifetime. So now in the save searches, if you if you follow through, if you got the WinStar and you have my WinStar default book, it sets up the WinStar defaults and you'll have your own special RASA codes for transits and things. We have to make a couple for progressions, but I'm not going to use those. If you go down this list down there at the bottom, if you go back to the bottom, you see there's major transits for 90 years, so 90 years of progressions, um, 90 years per, per, the progressed moon to angles, 90, year, 90 years new moons and full moons. Okay, so uh, we want to do the progressed moon only to itself, so we'll take um, angles, the moon to itself, we take Let's see, I think we would go, let's take, let's just look at the 90 years progressions. This has progressions to everything. What's everything in the sun, moon, every planet, every aspect, puts them all in. But really, yeah, so, but then we go up here to re-enter search and it comes up with our, 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 our qualifications for this in the progressed everything. It puts in the progressed to natal, progressed to progress. There's the moon by itself. There's the progressed to the planets, to the planets. So we're gonna take out we're going to take out the, we're going to highlight the progressive progressive, but delete, well, God, delete search, yes. We're going to highlight progressive natal of the planets. We'll put delete, yes. So it leaves us, delete it, yes. And then it has progressed moon to each of the planets and the angles. That's what we want. We'll just go ahead and check this, edit it. There's the moon, there's the planets to all the angles. And there's the planet, the, the it's, going into the signs, sign ingress, house ingress, when it changes signs or houses. Right now, it has the aspect set up for just the squares, the conjunction squares and oppositions. That's probably good enough. You could set it, if you wanted to get all of the aspects in it, you could set it to the Ptolemy, it'll give you the sextiles. Trines. Okay, let's do that. What we're doing, the moon to everything, we're gonna include, not the Ptolemy, we'll include the standard aspects, sorry, standard aspects. We highlight the aspects. So we're still in this edit box. So standard aspects. One of the things I like to do is here, I go here and I put, click on the true node rather than the approximate node. But I just always do that because um, when I first started, there wasn't an, a true node. Now with the actual computers, we get more accurate detail, we can get that. So this is the moon. That's a search planet to all the planets. You can add asteroids, other things you want. We got enough to work with to keep perspective. Okay, the other 20 years, they're probably going to have 20 more planets out there they're going to add in and um, people working with the ideas. But still, these main ones that we work with, the planets, you can see the main factors. These are the main factors in our life that we have to work with. And the others are extra things that are usually more distracting than not. So, okay, we hit OK. Comes in and gives us the options. I could now go to save this and rename it. So anytime I rename anything, I usually put an asterisk before it. I put asterisk rasa and then the title, and then it shows up with the asterisk. It will be the first listings on the on the whole long list of of search options. But anyways, we'll leave it here. That's got it set up. It's going from October 17th, 46 to October 17th, 36. I could change that to 46 if I want, but I'll leave it like this for now. Boom. Okay, here we got it. Here's uh, the progressions of the moon for my lifetime going through. Okay, so it just goes through 90 years. And um, then you can print it out. But what I usually do is I usually, I have my printer search, my printer is set up, there's a printer set up. I have it set to a PDF file. The print is a PDF file. Okay, so if I go to print, then I'm just gonna go print search the printer. It comes up, takes a minute, takes a few seconds. 